Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero, the channel that is going to help you become the best version of yourself every single day. My name is Fabio and I'm an expert in risk management and market manipulation and today I'm going to compare XRP to Solana to Internet Computer ICP based on 10 different metrics and we are going to find out which project in my opinion can perform better in 2024 and 2025. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. The first metric that I want to take a look at is the speed of the network, transactions per second. So let's take a look at the Solana white paper first. And based on the Solana white paper, um, Solana claims that it can process up to 710,000 transactions per second. Okay, let's see in reality in the testnet what they have achieved so far. 65,000 transactions per second in the testnet, so in the test environment. Let's take a look in reality what they really process. 4,500 transactions per second, however, the transactions per second and the speed that Solana brags about could be misleading. Why? Well, simply because the transactions per second figures presented by Solana include consensus votes, which constitute up to 85% of the total TPS. So what is the real TPS for Solana in this case? Between 300 and 1000 transactions per second. Okay, let's take a look at what XRP claims. Uh, they can process up to 1,500 transactions per second, and you may see this in various articles. Let's see if this is really true. Well, in reality, I found out that they can process much less transactions per second, around 50 based on this article. Let's take a look at all the relevant metrics. So. This is uh, the mainnet of XRP and based on this metrics, they are performing currently only 27 transactions per second. I will enlarge this part so you can see it clearly. What about other uh, blockchains and other projects? HBAR 1300 transactions per second, Solana the real TPS 700 transactions per second and all the other displayed blockchains here much much less okay let's take a look at internet computer 5465 transactions per second with a peak of 20000 transactions per second in the last 90 days therefore internet computer is much faster than both solana and xrp therefore in this comparison Internet computer wins, and as you may see, Solana performs only 822 transactions per second at the moment. Okay, let's take a look at the second metric, transaction fees. Obviously, a blockchain does not only need to be very fast, but also the transactions need to be very cheap. So let's compare these figures. XRP is extremely cheap. And as you may see, for a standard transaction, it costs you only 0.00001 XRP or 10 drops. Obviously, this is extremely cheap. However, there might be other type of special transactions that may cost you more than that. Let's take a look at Solana. Solana also claims that is extremely cheap compared to other blockchains, especially compared to Ethereum. Let's now take a look what internet computer does and why I will not take here as a metric the transactions, um, the cost of the transactions, but rather the cost of storage for internet computer. Internet computer is, in my opinion, a revolutionary innovation compared both to Bitcoin and Ethereum because everything is hosted 100% on chain. So not only the network needs to be extremely fast to process all the transactions, but the cost of storage needs to be very low as everything will be hosted 100% on chain. Internet computer is 1 million times cheaper in terms of storage than Ethereum. It costs only $5 
per year to store one gigabyte and this is extremely cheap in my opinion let's take a look at the security of the network which is one of the most important parameters in my book let's take a look at the number of bridge hacks that we had in the last cycle and the losses bsc bridge 568 million dollars of loss harmony bridge ronin bridge solana bridge many many hacks we had in the last cycle let's take a look at the outages of xrp so xrp is not immune to that it had outages a few outages in the last year let's take a look at the number of outages that solana had in the course of history and solana had also multiple outages and the last outage happened just a few weeks ago what about internet computer internet computer is hacker proof so it's with utopia especially an unstoppable tamper proof open platform for independent autonomy what they really emphasize is the security of the network and in order to attract a lot of new participants like um, corporations governments militaries enterprises the security of the network needs to be very high in order to do that they even did a test and did shut down a node and utopia was still running therefore if you take in consideration that everything will be hosted 100 percent on chain their emphasis needs to be on security and security in my opinion is the future for cryptocurrency as in the past we have seen so many scams hacks outages and this is something we need to fix in the current cycle okay what about the performance against bitcoin and if you are following me for quite some time you know that this is my favorite metric and let's take a look internet computer did perform extremely well uh, against bitcoin in the short term however you may see that internet computer is facing epic resistance on the btc pair chart why well simply because there are so many touch points at these levels here however it also respected the short-term support level that i have indicated on the chart in my opinion we are out of this accumulation phase and internet computer is holding very well especially if we take in consideration that we are in bitcoin season what about solana solana also absolutely amazing performance against btc and it's one of the best performers in the market at the moment what about xrp xrp it's in a downtrend against bitcoin since 2018 and this is a very long term downtrend and even on the short term even if i would pull the daily chart you will see that xrp is currently heavily bleeding against bitcoin which is something that i'm concerned about as this is not something that lasted for a couple of months but is a long term trend let's take a look at the bitcoin dominance one of the most important charts at the moment why is that so because in the bear market cash is king in the transitional phase of the market bitcoin is king as it needs to carry the whole altcoin space the whole crypto market from the bear market to the bull market therefore bitcoin leads the charge and as you may see bitcoin is now currently facing once again resistance and was slightly rejected this does not mean that the bitcoin dominance cannot push to 58 or 60 percent what i'm really tracking here as this is a long-term multi-yearly long-term trend i'm tracking a breakdown from these levels and this is when the altcoin season can start and we can really track the performance of the altcoin not only on the btc pair but on the usdt pair as well okay uh, let's now talk about decentralization of the network first of all i want to talk about xrp and one of its disadvantages one of its disadvantages is ob obviously that is somewhat centralized and let's take a look why a substantial portion of the supply is exceeding 60 percent is concentrated with, with within the top 100 wallets giving rise to concerns about the decentralization 
of the cryptocurrency. Additionally, the Ripple company retains ownership of 6.5 billion XRP, resulting in an adjusted circulating supply of approximately 47 billion tokens. Let's take a look um, as a comparison, Internet Computer and Solana. In order to uh, measure the decentralization of the network, I usually use the Nakamoto coefficient. The higher the Nakamoto coefficient, the higher is the decentralization of the network. Internet Computer scores 134 points on the Nakamoto coefficient compared to Solana, for example, that scores 31 or Ethereum that scores 34. Therefore, in my opinion, not only is uh, Internet Computer where mo way more decentralized than XRP, but also five times more decentralized than Solana. Let's take a look at Google Trends. And why I'm taking a look at Google Trends, because the sentiment into the crypto market, especially in the altcoin market, is essential. And as you may see in blue, we have here Solana, XRP in red and Internet Computer in yellow. Solana is doing exceptionally well in this phase of the market compared to XRP and Internet Computer. And this is something that Internet Computer is really, uh, that um, Solana, I'm sorry, is really doing well, PR and marketing. Therefore, Solana here definitely wins the comparison XRP number two and ICP number three. As for ICP, I just want to add that in my opinion, ICP is a very complete project with a lot of tons of potential. And the fact that it's currently so undervaluated, especially the social risk is so low, could be an indication of undervaluation. Which brings us to the seventh metric, undervaluation of the network. So in these terms, I can simply compare the market cap of uh, Internet computer of $6.2 billion to the market cap of XRP of $30 billion and of Solana $48 billion. Therefore, Internet computer is five times cheaper currently than XRP and multiple times cheaper than Solana. Let's take a look why is that important. I um, here I'm looking at the historical snapshot taken at the top of the bull run uh, from the last cycle in 2021. I believe that in this cycle uh, ICP can be a top 10 project and that it can crack the top 10. Uh, last cycle a project needed 27 billion dollars in order to crack the top 10. If we take in consideration a very moderate estimate and say that the crypto market, the total crypt, uh, capitalization of the asset class will do at 2x from the last cycle, in order to crack a top 10, a project will need more than $50 billion in market capitalization, which would me mean that uh, ICP will do around a 10x from here, which in my opinion is absolutely great. What about uh, Solana and XRP? I believe uh, Solana will do uh, well because it has ton of uh, marketing and ton of good PR, which will push uh, the project forward. However, there are certain concerns regarding outages. As for XRP, my biggest concern here is uh, not only outages, but the fact that it has performed fairly poorly against Bitcoin in the last five or six years. Okay, let's take a look at some other metrics like tokenomics and the inflation rate. So um, XRP is slightly deflationary due to the mechanic of the burning of the fees. What about um, Solana? Solana has currently an inflation rate of 5.4% and the initial inflation rate was at 8%. Every year the inflation rate it's lowered by 15% as a final goal of 1.5% of inflation rate. Therefore, Solana will still be inflationary. However, the, inf the final inflation will be quite moderate. What about internet computer? The current inflation rate is around 4 to 4.5% based on my calculations. And uh, internet computer has very good tokenomics as 88% of the supply is currently circulating 
and 48% of the supply is staked, out of which 55% of the stake supply is staked for eight years. And just keep in mind that also uh, Solana has a very high staked supply ratio. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the potential deflationary mechanics for internet computer. Internet computer could become deflationary in the future in the next five or six years to be precise based on this simulation. Therefore, uh, I believe that um, since XRP is currently deflationary, so even though very slightly, and Solana has only will have a very moderate inflation rate and internet computer potentially is even deflationary, then I would say that these projects have solid tokenomics at the moment. What about the energy consumption? And this is something that tends to be overlooked by the community. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the energy consumption of internet computer compared to Solana. So the energy consumption for internet computer is six times lower than the one of Solana and multiple times lower than the one of Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin, etc. Let's take a look at the energy consumption of uh, Ripple. So uh, they claim that they are very eco-friendly, that their energy consumption is very low and the energy consumption is at 28,000 joules per transaction. Let's compare this once again with the mere 261 joules per transaction of internet computer. Therefore, in my opinion, internet computer is at the moment much more eco-friendly than both Solana and XRP. Let's move on at the last metric that I'm currently taking a look at, adoption and potential narratives. So um, one big plus for XRP is that is used by large financial institutions. Therefore, XRP has adoption. I believe that XRP in general as a project has a use case, solves a real life problem. However, we also have to take in consideration does XRP have the means to achieve a very, very um, nice and good goal. In my opinion, since the transactions per second are fairly low, uh, this could be a little bit tricky, especially if you take in comparison Visa that currently at max capacity can perform 24,000 transactions per second, even though Visa in reality performs around 1,500 or 600 transactions per second on a daily basis. Therefore, internet computer once again here much, much faster. Okay, as for uh, the other projects, um, Solana. Solana has also a lot of narratives, not only NFTs. However, the problem here really is that all those NFTs are hosted off-chain. Therefore, there is no real ownership of the NFT. Uh, in comparison, ICP, uh, since everything is is hosted 100% on chain, the user will have the real ownership of the asset, the real ownership of the NFT. Let's take a look also at the developer growth of internet computer. And this is something also very overlooked. Uh, the developer growth for internet computer is exceptionally high compared to other platforms like Cosmos minus 19%, Polkadot minus 26%, Bitcoin minus 8%, Near Protocol minus 32%, Polygon minus 54%, PMB minus 61%. And this was in the bear market when developers were running away from projects because it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't um, any more for them a good deal to develop in crypto. Let's take a look also at the number of core developers and commits for internet computer that is currently uh, constantly raising. Why I'm so bullish on internet computer compared to these other projects? I do not say that XRP and Solana are not good projects. In fact, I believe that XRP and Solana are in the top 10 for a reason. However, if we take in consideration the 6 billion market cap for internet computer and the number of different narratives 
social fly, DeFi, gaming, NFTs, metaverse, artificial intelligence, and much, much more cloud, for example. Uh, I believe that the implications and the potential utility of internet computer over time are very, very high, especially if we take in consideration the history of BTC and how long it took for the adoption of BTC. Let's be real, it took more than a decade for BTC to even be considered as the gold 2.0 and there is still a lot of resistance for BTC from the various governments. So there is no real mass adoption. Mass adoption takes decades. Can XRP achieve max mass adoption? Maybe it even can. Do they have the means to increase their speed, to increase their security? And they already have a very low cost. This is true. Time will tell. Will Solana increase their security over time as we have seen ton of outages, uh, hacks? I, I don't know. Time will tell. However, in my opinion, based on the whole package, internet computer at the moment is undervalued compared to to XRP and Solana and also compared to Ethereum, for example. Okay, I will conclude this video with uh, the stars. So, uh, Internet Computer scores 8 points against Solana that scores 6 points and XRP that scores 3 points. In my opinion, once again, I believe ICP is the best deal at the moment compared to the mark market cap especially. Guys, um, if you like this content, please give me a big fat thumbs up. I have put, uh, I put hundreds of hours of research to provide the most objective information as possible and unbiased. If you like the content, once again, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.